Hi, dear friends. This is Asima. So I hope you are doing great. It has been some time that I didn't come to uh, YouTube. So today I'm taking this opportunity to come and present to you a new deck that I have just received and uh, uh, I have put on the shop Core Magic. So uh, please check uh, check it out. I forgot the, <laughs> the little pouch that comes with this deck. So um, this deck is coming in in very important time. I feel this time we need elders we need wisdom we need strength and this is what this deck is about when i talk about the deck it's <laughs> the book is 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 quite big as you see and and at this time i don't know if is uh the name deck is appropriate i prefer calling this a box uh because it comes with the, um a book uh, that is filled with wisdom and poems we're gonna see it later but it's also um a spirit of of, of um the spirit of this creation uh i i feel like it's reductive to put just a deck to <laughs> to this to this work anyway so the deck comes into um uh into a, a pouch that is specially made for it and um so i removed it because i'm using this deck i'm, I'm getting to know it and it comes also with a card uh, that is called the Wheel uh, of the Soul Return. Uh, if I'm, I'm not mistaken, I don't. Uh, the Wheel of Sir Soul Return or Soul's Return. Yes. So um, it's uh, it's the wheel that um, this deck, in a way, is constructed upon. Um, and you will find uh, you might find some uh, archetype that you know from tarot, like the magician and the priestess. You have here the hunter gatherer and you have here the uh warrior and the ally and within each category you will find the cards that are filled here that, that are presented in the in this deck for example let's take uh, the magician and the priestess i printed it out uh in big so that i can uh, uh see <laughs> so the magician and the priestess we have uh the majestic guardian we have maturity sovereignty responsibility and uh, uh, i'm not reading very well here uh, we have crystal humor uh sacred fool aspiring elder the kingdom and we have the mystery elderhood the elder wise elder um let me, let me try acceptance and the stuff uh, acceptance and the stuff so here is the category for the magician and the priestess and uh, here the hunter gatherer you'll find spirit rebirth dreamer etc anyway you have this wheel on which this deck is based i must say that caroline carey is a um a is a wonderful person. She has uh, uh, written other books. Uh, she she's she writes on poetry. She dances. She um, uh, give workshops on shamanic uh, journeys and uh, uh, and programs. Check her out. It's it's really an amazing person. And uh, this deck is based on the um, the soul return. Uh, the work she did. I didn't read it yet, but um this this box is giving me that desire to explore her vision anyway you don't you're not obliged to know her her book i'm really not obliged to um, and i'm using the deck in in a guidance as guidance without following this uh, but um from some practitioner uh, from some readers what they told me it depends on your time you can go deeper you can go just with the guidance with the divination you can go as much deeper as you want this is what is interesting with this box. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm on the level of divination and reading. And uh, if I have uh, time and desire, I can go further. So um, I like this type of boxes that they offer you the choice and they respect your level or of and uh, availability. Um, so for example, the book is, you have uh, an introduction here. She uh, explains, um, 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 uh, there's a word of the artist. The artist is uh, Brenda May. And here she shows again the wheel of souls return. You have the center of the wheel, the outer realms, the overseers, and then the journey. Um, how you can lay out the cards. 
and then the uh, the cards. So, um, for example, if I open just to see what, which card we'll have. Deeper Knowing. This is one of the cards you will find uh, here. And you have, uh, for example, the main theme. I'm learning the art of seeking. And this is where I learn to know. Then you will find a poem written by Caroline. Or Caroline. And then you will see the description. And then there is a, a page for your own notes. Let me just tell you that in the um, in the description you will find there is always a shadow side. Um, for example, here we have um, commitment. You'll find the, the word, a poem, the description, and you have the shadow in here. You have dwelling, stage of life, archetype, and tool. We will try to choose a, uh, a card maybe later. So yeah. Um, and here is Caroline. Caroline, I'm trying to say it in French. <laughs> and you have 52 cards in this deck. All right. Um, I don't think, as, as usual, I, I don't have the patience to show all the cards. <laughs> but I will show you some. Um, uh, we will see how that goes. I, 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 I sometimes say that, but uh, sometimes it, it goes uh, better. Um, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So there is this word elder that um, that comes to me when I see this deck, shamanic. Uh, there is a lot of, um, it reminds me uh, the Folarcus uh, sometimes. The smoke and the veil. The crown in the magical garden. Beautiful card. The mask. And um, I don't have much information about the art, but I saw that there, there is some collage style uh, that is in the, there is like mixed, mixed media or mixed uh, mediums. Responsibility. And you can see some texts, you know, in the in the cards. For example, here, there is, here is way, um, like a newspaper. What, and then us. So sometimes you you get these um, small things you can find in each card. the offering. And I must say that I so much love this rounded decks. I found them like they have this, um, it's like a loop. <laughs> or a, a magical cr crystal, you know, the magical crystal when you see things. From deeper knowing. I love how it cracks. I feel this is what we are living at the moment. Maturity. The mystery. Wait, there is something interesting here. See, there are there is uh, the same paysage, the same um, area in a way, and there are some things happening here. Interesting acceptance, and you find some sentences here. The mystery is not knowing, and the other sentence is. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to see how 
something to the core I am not seeing well. Well, I am doing all the cars finally. <laughs> the stuff. Repetition. You see there is a face in here. Sovereignty. You see there is like it's the scene. It's kind of the same scene. Attitude. Yeah. Commitment. The kingdom. Crystal. Hunter, gardener, or gatherer. The innocent. The wise elder. It's a different deck. It's a different deck. It's um let me put them like this. Pre-birth. And you see there is a kind of letter here. Spirit. The rattle. Totems, the seer, warrior and ally, rebirth. Rebirth is different than the what is what is the card of the birth? Okay, so we have rebirth and the rebirth. Puberty, cave of intelligence, and you see this face again. Creativity cauldron, individuality, face, shape shifting, beautiful card. Okay, finally. Well, I showed you all the cards. <laughs> okay, let's choose a card for today or for this week and see what the book says about it. Okay, let's take this one. Sovereign. Sovereign. <laughs> okay. So what does the book say about Sovereign? Mm. The, the book is quite big and I need to check in the table where is the Sovereign. And when you look at something, that's where it disappears, right? <laughs> okay, I found it. Two, one, eight. right, here we go. So we have the sovereign saying, I can stand in my strength, yet my humility must hold the reins with the lightness of touch. This is beautiful. We always think that to be sovereign is to use strength and uh, force and oppression. But yeah, the so being a sovereign is to stand in the strength, yet with humility and lightness of touch. This is beautiful. And then there is the poem by Caroline saying, the crown will hold the essence of the innocence of mine. Reminding of my journey, it does not fully fit, for there is a soul between of all that is below and all that is above is the magic of the dream. Isolation will not serve me, nor fulfill my growth. This journey undertaken, I cannot take alone. And my trusty soul advisors will sit beside my throne, there to my sword and scepter, my drum and trusty steed. Stead will keep me well connected if I am to succeed. This is beautiful. 
and you feel that air of shamanic journey in here. Uh, sovereignty is very place is the very place we begin at birth when we arrived at the crown in the magical garden. The place of our innocence is where we are pure and soulful. We we'll claim the, that crown. Life takes us on a journey where we begin to lose the magic. We become lost in the trappings of self-conscious world and ego-centered world. And gradually or sometimes suddenly we lose the God-centered word of love, prayer and care. Isn't this what we are doing? We are living at the moment. When our soul purpose truly lands, there comes a time when we must stand fully on our own ground, taking responsibility for what we have created and where we have came to or come to. We are ready for this transition from manifesting to arriving, to be that adult in an adult world and to be in service to others, to our community, the environment, to our soul's calling. There may be many challenges not previously, previously, uh, previously thought about, but there is no turning back. The journey has brought us this far and it is time to take our place. We have known the sovereignty from the time of birth, yet we have not known how it sits with us. We have known on a deep core level that there is a purpose. Yet we have also had to ride the journey of our life with an expectation of the awakening. We cannot have known where it would lead us because the dream had to be forgotten. Else we would not have lived the life we needed or had the experiences that gave us our tools and discovered its true purpose. As we remember step by step, we get closer to the call the dream begins to be remembered through the flesh and the heart of the body, memory awakening until it is fully embraced. And it continues. Let's see the shadow side. Weak sovereign energy becomes deflated. One loses the fire and lacks motivation and confidence. Abdication looms or you are overly confident with the tendency to have such inflated ego that you come across as grandiose and power mad. The dwelling, the majestic garden, stage of life, maturity, resource, responsibility, tool, tool, talking stick. There are so much things to do with this deck. Um, and I'm seeing a circle to be amazing to use it for with a, you know, in a circle, uh, in a ceremony or something like that. And don't you feel that there is this voice of elders uh, through this deck? Um, yeah, it's much needed. I am in need of this voice of the elders, of their guidance and uh, their, their wisdom because they lived before us and they know more about uh, the human condition and what to do uh, in front of big challenges that we are facing. Um, Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my uh, walking, quick walking through this deck. Um, and if you are interested to get it, uh, check the link below. Uh, you can uh, uh, order it and um, maybe you can order some other decks with it if you want to. We are having um, special, special extra care for... Um, those who are ordering multiple decks and we thank you so much for supporting us as um, um, a small business <laughs> um, especially in these times so yeah i wishing you a very nice day and i hope to see you soon for another uh, walking through bye bye